Okay, we're at part three here where we're going to get into the advanced settings within Google Sites. You're going to see this change as we go along. I'm going to come back up here and we're going to work down here in the site actions area. And really the biggest one is manage site. We already looked at edit site layout in the last one. The big one here is manage site. When I click on this, it's going to bring up all the inner workings of my site. If you remember a long time back, I named the site How To Sites One, just as a placeholder, and it keeps showing up in the header of all of my pages. Um, if I come back, you see it right here. Well, there's no need for that because I made a custom header up here at the top. So if I unclick, now it won't show up there. I'll have to save before I can see it. So this is a message that you could uh, have for site visitors, the site notice. I'll probably fill that in later on. You can even have a URL to explain that. Um, you can change the landing page. So maybe you want people to actually end up on a different page other than what you called your home page. You can click here and change that. You can delete the site, which I've done in the past. You make one as an example and go ahead and delete it um, if you don't need it anymore. You can configure search. I'm going to get into analytics a little later on. This is actually a really useful tool and Google allows you to do it for free. But that will be a tutorial in the pro version of all of this which will come in a little bit. And then some more webmaster tools. I really like in most cases to click on the mobile because so many people are using mobile devices these days. It will reconfigure things to, to show up well on mobile. Although it's not perfect. In fact, one of the sites I use, I've unclicked that because it reformats everything way too much. So just check. And then I've already said anybody can view this. I'm going to click the Save button. Everything I just did was right here under the General Settings. But I'm going to come back up and walk you through these very quickly. There's our site activity. Sometimes you'll create pages and you don't know where they end up. And if you come here and click on Pages, it'll tell you all the pages that you've built which takes me back to here. Notice, we're on step three right now, but step three is not showing up. So I need to go back. Well, how do I add that? Go up here to Edit Site Layout. Click right here on my horizontal navigation and add page. It'll show me all the pages I have. We're on Advanced. I click OK and now it's going to show up over here but look it's out of order I don't like the way this is working out so I'm going to come back here and I'm going to change the order of these click on advanced move it up hit OK and I'm done I'm going to go ahead and close this out we're going to see how it looks well, there we go now I've got all three of them up there I'm going to come back um, let me go back into this just to remind you how we got here we're working on right down here in Manage Site, which brings up all the inner workings. And we just look through the pages. Any attachments that you already have can go right in here. This is going to be really important coming up because if you want to change the favicon, which is that little thing right up there, we're going to do it inside this. I'll show you in the next one. You can change the, the, the templates. You can look at what you've got. If you're a scripts writer, um, you can write scripts and put it in there. It'll keep track of deleted items at least for a certain amount of time and then sharing permissions we talked about that down the road or earlier and uh, the web address which you can change lots of things including a custom domain which I'm gonna show you how to do that later on I think you can already see what the custom domain is going to be um, from my header but I don't want to get there just yet instead I want to focus down here on themes colors and fonts because you could really get lost in this one and just start wading around into all sorts of things. I just pressed command and the minus button. It's making everything so, uh, smaller so I can actually see what's going on. Once I get in here, all my customization stuff is up here. Remember I said I could change my theme anytime I wanted? Well, here's where I can change that. But I can customize everything that I want to customize no matter what. Let's say I wanted a background picture on the entire page. Okay, I'm in background. Right now it's using all the theme stuff, but I could put an image back there if I wanted. I would just click on this and I would find an image inside my computer somewhere. Maybe I wanted some text back there. I don't want any of those. I've already got a text header. I made a, um, 
a custom one, but you can use a more simple one if you'd like. This takes me to my content area, which is all of this down here. So I can change the font that it's using. I can change the, the color, um, but it's all working out pretty well for me right now. The area gadgets, I'll show you how to add more gadgets later on. Google's got a ton of gadgets and third party people have made gadgets. And then the horizontal navigation is what we've got going on right up here. Now, I'm perfectly fine with it, but let's go ahead and change something. Um, the background of each one of those is white. That's fine. What about the selected text? Notice we're on the home page, so it's blue, and it's got white. Let's just change that to C. The background color, when it's selected, let's go ahead and make that green. So there, just change it to green to show me what page it's on. Sure, that looks good going with our Google theme here. I think we'll leave it just like that. Again, you can change anything you want. I'm going to click the Save button. It should take me back to my page. And back to How To Sites 1. And here we go. I'm going to press the Command Plus. This is just zooming me in and out to make it look a little more realistic. And this is our page. We've got everything in order. The one we're on is in green now. The one we're hovering over is the one we'd go to next. Next thing we look at is to get into the pro stuff. Let me tell you a little bit what we're going to cover. What about if you want to look at the statistics and the analytics of your site and how to enable Google Analytics to keep track of who's visiting your site? You can do a custom URL. So I've got one up here, but I don't own it yet. So I'm going to show you how to go in and purchase that and how to redirect your site to a custom URL. We can change the favicon, which is that little object up there, into anything we want. We can also embed other web pages in here. We can add slideshows. Really, the options are endless. And I'm going to walk you through a whole bunch of those coming up.